Solve the problem. Two cars that leave from the same point at the same time, traveling in opposite directions. One travels 15 miles per hour slower than the other. After six hours, they are 630 miles apart. Find the rate of each car. Well, we've performed step one. We've read the problem carefully. Let's define our variables as step two. Let x equal the speed of the faster car. Therefore, x minus 15 represents the speed of the slower car. We're working with rates, times, and distances, so go ahead and write down the equation d is equal to rt. I'm going to use a table to organize my information. We've indicated um, that x um, represents the speed of the faster car, so let's place that x right here, and that x minus 15 represents the speed or rate of the slower car. We're told that in six hours, they are 630 miles apart, and they've started at the same time. So for each, the time is six, or six hours. Now I'm going to use this equation, d is equal to rt, to complete our last column. The slower car travels a distance of its rate times its time, or six times x minus 15. The faster car travels a distance of its rate times time. That's x times 6, or let's write this rather as 6x. Now we're given an additional piece of information that the total of our distances is equal to 630 miles. So we're going to use that fact to create our equation. So as step 3, let's write our equation. The sum of the distances is 630. So 6 times x minus 15 plus 6 times x is equal to 630. Now let's solve this equation as step 4. Using our distributive property up front, 6x minus 90 plus 6x is equal to 630. Combining like terms, that's a 12x. And I'm also going to add 90 to both sides so we can isolate this 12x term at the same step. Adding 90 to 630 gives 720. Now divide by 12 to get x is equal to 60. Now recall that we let x represent the speed of the faster car. So let's say then that that faster car has a rate or speed of 60 miles per hour. We want to find the rate or speed of both cars. So let's find then uh, the speed of the slower car. We're told that um, its rate is x minus 15, or 60 minus 15, that's 45 miles per hour. So we've solved the problem. The rate of the faster car is 60 miles per hour. The rate of the slower is 45 miles per hour. As a last step, let's check these uh, solutions. I want to check them in our original equation. And basically it said that the sum of the distances is 630. Now that faster car traveling at 60 miles per hour in a time of six hours is going to travel 60 times 6 as a distance. Let's add that to the distance of the slower car, which is its rate, 45, times time of 6, and is that indeed equal to 630? Well, 60 times 6 is 360. 45 times 6 is 270. Is that equal to 630? It sure is. We get a true statement here as we check those solutions, so we feel very comfortable with this answer, that the faster car travels 60 miles per hour, the slower car 45 miles per hour.